Michael and Kit meet their match in a seemingly indestructible adversary, Carr, Kit's alter ego on MCA TV International's Knight Rider, episode entitled Kit vs. Carr. The script was written by Richard Oakey and directed by Winridge Kalm. Goodbye, Michael Knight. <laughs> While at the beach, John Stanton and his girlfriend, Mandy Morin, uncover a trans and buried in the sand. It is Kit's exact double. Soon freed, John takes it for a ride in awe of its high-tech computer technology. As you can see, terrain doesn't hamper my performance. I am designed for virtually every condition. I don't believe it. I don't believe any of this. Forget belief systems. Forget the perimeters of rational thinking, as it so smugly is called. Feel, my friend. Feel. Back to surveillance mode. According to my projections, the source should be here within seconds, Michael. Michael and Kit are horrified to discover that Carr is operational, as they thought it was destroyed some time ago. Carr is a Foundation reject. Before long, Carr has surmised John's situation, a garage mechanic with dreams of buying the business from the owner, Eddie. Carr causes Eddie's pacemaker to fail, convincing him that he might have to sell the business to John if he is able to raise the down payment. With Carr's help, John takes the new high-powered laser body completed for Kit. With it, Carr is indestructible. You'll be more efficient if you relax and more comfortable. Relax, right? Press turbo boost. Press it. Get roll tape on all video units. Get the signal straight now, will you? Get me patched in. I'm doing what I can, Michael. The feed is disrupted. All right, full pursuit to semi. Go for it! Unless you want to be pressed right into the diesel block, I wouldn't move, Mr. Miles. And what's this? A laser. Intended for me, no doubt. I came for Alpha Capacitors. What an unexpected surprise. After John tells Eddie about the Trans M's capabilities, he wants Carr to rob an armored truck, but John refuses. We're gonna be millionaires. Silence. We have an intruder. <laughs> Damn, 
isn't right yet, but when next we meet, you won't escape. Carr is holding Mandy hostage and then is using John, watching her suffer, to make them both comply with Carr's plans to rob the security van and destroy Kit. Michael and Kit arrive at the scene of the robbery, and when the two Trans Ems turbo boost toward each other, Carr bursts into a million pieces, but Kit is safe. Very well. If you insist on a game of dodging, perhaps this will change your mind. Michael, the men in the armored car. Let's get over there, buddy. But Michael, do it! You all right? I can't take another blow like that. All right, prepare the high tensile reflectors. We can find the right angle. We're gonna shatter that laser. Goodbye, Michael Knight. All right, pal. It's now or never. He's vulnerable, head on! If I am destroyed, so shall you be. You all right? Come on, buddy, you all right? Can you hear me? Kit? If I say yes, will you promise we'll never have to do that again? With the reward money that John receives from the Foundation for Finding Carr, he buys the business. However, in the wreckage that once was Carr, a faint light still pulsates. Its central processing unit still alive. <laughs> One man can make a difference, Michael. Michael Knight, a lone crusader in a dangerous world. The world of the night.